Hello world, it is Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. I'm looking out the window at Defiance. It's, um, it's a beautiful morning. There's some clouds out there. I didn't look at the weather forecast for today, but I think it's supposed to be kind of like yesterday. Um, temperatures in the 80s. So, warm, but not un un unreasonably so. The devotion for today is entitled Faith and Family by Quinn Caldwell. Quinn bases the devotion upon the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 59b through 60 in the Revised Standard Version. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. And then Quinn writes, I'm going to go ahead and assume you've already gotten the word about what God thinks about God and country kinds of Christians. Good. Now Jesus delivers tough news for all you faith and family types, too. He doesn't really care about your family ties. Want to bury your dead dad before you head out to follow Jesus? Nope. Want to just run home real quick and tell your sister you love her before you leave forever to follow an itinerant preacher you just met? Not if you have faith, you don't. It's a, it's a point important enough that Jesus makes it a bunch of times, including ditching his own family at least twice. The gospel is more important than your mom. Life with Jesus matters more than filial piety or whatever pintustery family is everything sentiment is stenciled on the dining room wall. If that's a bitter pill for you, maybe it will help you consider that there are people out there, lots of them, for whom a divine commandment to leave their family behind is actually a huge relief. There are people out there, lots of them, for whom the expectation or at least the permission to make a new chosen family is the very thing that might save them. Queer people have been doing it for generations. Survivors of child abuse, people who peek out of closed communities and discover a whole world out there, those who break out of generations of addiction. The list goes on. If you're one of the many for whom freedom and health outweighs loss when they leave their families of origin, hear this. The gospel is for you. Maybe especially so. Jesus is on your side. God knows it's not easy, but the gospel and you are worth it. And Quinn's prayer. For all that you free us from and for, thank you. Amen. Well, as I read this devotion, um, one thing that came to mind is that in Jesus' time, blood relations um, meant more than anything else. And part of Jesus' message is that um, it isn't about blood, but about love and compassion and following God. Because if God is love, you're following love. And so if your family is not supporting you in love, I think part of what Quinn is saying is, and that happens a lot, the LGBTQ plus people, um, this is Pride Month, and so many of them are rejected by their families when they come out, um, or at least sometimes held at arm's distance because they're not sure what to make of them. They're not accepted. They're not affirmed. And sometimes they're not even loved. And that's what Jesus was trying to get across, is it's all about love. It's all about love. And that's what should determine the decisions that we make in life is love and what it means to love. We don't need to support a family that isn't about love in the world. We can still love them and care about them, but we need, don't need to stay with them if it means that our life is filled with something much less than love. Go seek love, go live love, go spread love. Hope to uh, talk to you again tomorrow.